I'm setting up the grill in my backyard because I'm going to grill some of my own hamburgers tonight. <clears throat> and uh, there's a, been a trend that I've seen lately that's happened a couple different times in a couple different ways where somebody will post on social media something relatively uh, innocuous. I'm, I'm having my coffee, I did my yoga, I had my green smoothie. What do you like to do to wake up in the morning? Or I use this program or that program. Um, what do you guys like to use and why? And then the Twitter thread or the Facebook comments or even the YouTube comments will fill up with these people writing these long, long answers. Uh, Three-part theses explaining why they do this morning routine or that morning routine and, and why they think this program is better and why they use this technique for their productivity system or whatever. And, uh, and it's helpful and it's useful. If you, if you follow the person that made the original question, you see all these answers. But then what happens about three weeks later, four weeks later, I find that that person writes an article, the 10 best ways to get woke up in the morning or the five best text editors for developing WordPress. And they pulled all of their content for their blog post from the comments that people left on their original post. You see where I'm going with this. Those people were smart and it's great that they're responsive and it's great that they interact in a community like that, but they did it the wrong way. And that's kind of why the Free Marketing Friday videos exist. Um, that whenever you put content on the internet, keep in mind who owns it. Keep in mind where it lives. If you post a whole bunch of stuff on somebody's Facebook post, not only does it now live on Facebook, but it also lives under that person's name and not yours, even though your name's on it as a comment. But that person at the top is the main owner of it. And so if you're making a whole bunch of comments about consulting, they're going to think you're smart and that might help you. But wow, the person that made the original post that gathered you in, that knows you, they, they're the authority on that post. And, um, and it's free game for them to write, to take all your material and to write about it. So what does this have to do about marketing? You need a website that is your own property. You need your own channels and post your comments and post your replies on those channels because then everybody sees you as the original poster and then take a link to that, your original post and post it in the comments. And that way, when so-and-so says, what are your five best ways to wake up in the morning? There's a link and that link takes the people out to your site to read where you're the authority now not the original poster and you're getting the traffic not that original post person now is it stealing no um, you are just answering in a way where you are controlling the, the playing board of interaction with the answer the other nice thing about this is if you are an authority all of a sudden you've just introduced yourself to not necessarily the competition but somebody that's in your same wheelhouse or in your same realm that might be looking for your advice if if everybody follows you know uh, so and so because they're a specialist on hoogee dinks and you make a comment here's how i do with hoogee dinks now everybody else is going to be like oh i didn't even think of that and they're going to follow you you want to give them a place to follow you not just at the ownership of that original poster. Does that make sense? So, Seth Godin says it a lot. If you like this post, if you wanna comment on it, create your own blog and write a response. Don't reply to this, which is radical, but that way you become the owner, you become the originator of the idea, and you just take one idea and pass it on, pass it on, rather than your ideas belonging in someone's comments thread. All right, that's Free Marketing Friday. Have a great weekend.